to work on my mixed media morsels today. You can see I'm using this little journal. I did my own little Mary mixed media morsels where I put glycerin in a fine line paint applicator and I used it as an embossing base. And I used a rose concentrated watercolor on this. This was embossed. I used glycerin as the base and then I embossed it with a metallic and then I painted over it with a P.H. Martin's, Dr. P.H. Martin's rose watercolor. And then I took it in to another room where I had more ventilation and I did spray it with a fixative because this is a watercolor. Now we observed last time how that glycerin soaked through and even the watercolor soaked through. But when I went in the other room to get this page today to show you the how it's looking today, I can tell you that the feel of this, even though I have buffed off all of the oil, it's a very soft feel. Now, I think I could probably tear it. But do you know, they use glycerin when in the in the spring or the fall when you want to preserve a leaf you'll snip off that leaf or a partial part of the plant and you'll you'll set it in a glass of water and glycerin and that glycerin will soak up into osmosis up into the stem of that leaf or the stem of that plant and it will help preserve it well and and that leaf I, we used to do it with leaves I think you can do it with plants too. Anything that has, uh, any plant that has like a hollow stem that can use the process of osmosis to soak up that glycerin into its fibers. And even with the embossing, that embossed area on here, all these lines that have been embossed, they're not brittle. They're very flex flexible. I'm not worried about this chipping off. And look, you can see too how it almost feels like a fabric. But I wanted to communicate that to you. I really do like this. I might be doing more with glycerin on paper and experimenting, and even glycerin on fabric, and see what happens with that. What I'm going to do, first I want a background. here. I have some of this wax paper from other projects. I think I used it. And I have a tissue. Now this probably has media on here that's water soluble. But it also has other type of media. This was a background wipe off paper, drop paper. I'm tempted to use the back. Let's see, I think I have some more. Yeah, I have this. Ooh, I like that. What I'm going to do is I have left from a previous experiment these sheets. I had some curtain material, fabric material. And that's what I use to do my acrylic skins, which is um, just the layering. Now, since I've layered some paper on the back of this, this is just a curtain that's layered with Mod Podge. And then I had another really pretty piece that was bigger, but I made banners out of it. And this is just a scrap. I thought that maybe I would collage some and I'm not going to use the stickers. This is a Tim Holtz sticker pads, salvage stickers. This was from a couple years ago. I'm not going to use the stickers. I'm going to use the cover. I'm going to cut, cut some inches out of this cover and collage them to the back of my acrylic skin. And I'm going to make inches out of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch holes in those inches and I'm going to use either this red kind of a yarn thread or this rainbow tweed floss, fiber floss. It's more of a, again, a needlepoint flossy thread. And I'm going to let my little inches hang off of the page. I'm going to attach them to the page. And I'm going to attach the inches to like a little hanger and then hang them on my page and let them dangle down. 
So that's where I'm going with all of this. I'm going to go into fast forward motion. I would encourage you to go out and look at Cat Hand's inspiration video for the Inchies background because she does a really good job of explaining what needs to be done. I'm just going to go into my process video and work on my pages and you can watch and we'll see what happens.